In this video, I'll show you how to deal with missing file data in Blender. And the Blend file here that I'm using is from my industrial building tutorial series. Links in the description if you want to check out that tutorial series. So here in the folder with my project files, if I were to move the textures or move the Blender file, then the file wouldn't know where the texture path is. So for example, I could make a new folder and I could take the textures folder, which has all the different textures like the brick and the bark texture, and I could put that in another folder. And then if I go back into Blender and go into the rendered viewport mode, you can see everything is pink. And when a texture is pink, that's Blender telling you that it doesn't know where the texture is on the computer. Now, if you only have a few textures missing, one thing that you can do is just go to the material and then you can go to the texture and you can click on this file icon. Then you can locate to the folder where you know the textures are and then click on open image. And now you can see it's found that brick texture. However, for a really large scene, you might have many textures. And so there's actually an easier way to tell Blender to find all the textures at once. So to do this, you can click on file and you can click on external data and then you can click on the bottom one here, which is find missing files. And the file browser will appear and you can just locate to any folder where the textures are located. And you don't actually have to go into the exact folder where the textures are. If you just go into this folder here, I'll just go into the textures folder. You can see there's going to be different folders for different textures. But if you click on find missing files, Blender is going to go into each folder and it's going to look for the file names in the texture. So I'll just click on find missing files and then we'll just wait for this to load up and so you can see blender went through all those folders where we told it to look for the files and it found all the different files and it's now added it back in so we now have all the textures in our scene now one thing to be aware of is that if you change the name of the file then blender isn't going to detect the file so if for some reason you change the name of the texture then you're going to need to go here to the shading tab and you're going to need to go to each image and you're going to need to click on this file icon and then find the file and locate it now there is an option to tell Blender to store all the file data inside the Blend file so that you don't need to actually have the external textures. Now I wouldn't recommend doing this most of the time because it's going to make the Blender file a pretty large file size. But if you want to do it, you can click here on File and then you can go to here to External Data and then you can click on Pack Resources. So when you do this, Blender is going to save all of the texture data into this Blender file. So now back here in my file browser, if I look at the Industrial Building Blender file, you can see it is two. 261.7 megabytes and that's quite large because it is storing all the texture data in the blender file now if you're working on an ongoing project and you want to add in more textures and have it automatically pack all the textures you can click on file external data and then instead of packing the resources you can click on automatically pack resources so if you check mark that now when you ever you add in a new file and then save the blender file it's going to pack those textures into the file and then if you have a bunch of files and they're packed into the blend file but you want to unpack them and save them as external image textures, you can click on File, click on External Data, and make sure the Automatically Pack Resources is turned off. And then you can click on File, External Data. So I can now click on Unpack Resources. And then it's going to give you some different options. And what I'm going to do is the Use Files in Current Directory. So I'll just click on this. So now if I go back to my folder, you can see Blender has created a textures folder. And if I go inside this folder, you can see here's all the textures that I used in my project. And if you'd like to learn how to create this industrial building, then I have a complete tutorial series. It's all free on my YouTube channel, and I show you step by step in real time how to create this industrial building render. But I hope you found this helpful, and thank you for watching.